What about if I buy all of them? All right, what are you gonna offer me? Hey guys, before we get this video started, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I've had a lot of questions about my shop here. I've been here now for three months and I haven't answered all the questions in the comments section because I wanted to protect the identity of the guy that was here before me. He's also who I'm renting this from. He's also my realtor, coincidentally. I talked to him a little bit about my channel and he's comfortable with being in a video. His name's Kevin Hildebrand, super nice guy. He's a big time realtor in the area. This was his realty office and he has a new one now, like two miles down the road. He's on his way here now he's going to introduce himself to you guys and tell you a little bit about his business. Hello, my name is Kevin Hildebrand. And what do you do, Kevin? I sell residential real estate in Cincinnati, Ohio. So I'm curious. I've been here now for three months. When I first came here, looking at your office, what did you think about my business? I was um, confused. I, di I didn't realize there was such a market for buying and selling stuff. Yeah. Heard a lot of stories of people making a living on eBay and Amazon and garage sales, etc. My father went to a flea market every weekend of my life for 53 years. So he was the guy that if somebody backed in a parking spot at the flea market and popped their trunk, he was digging through their stuff before they got out of the car. <laughs> so um, to, to me, it was it's always something I enjoyed. I buy and sell and, and enjoy the search. As you know, I, I bothered you or bugged you about finding me old gas station signs yep. and grew up pretty blue collar, motorhead a little bit, decorated the inside of my garage with signs from Ohio gas stations and um, racing. How long were you in this office before I moved in? We moved in here in 2004, so approximately 17 years. Wow. Yeah, and this is my, August of this year was my 27th year selling houses. We've sold approximately, well, north of 5,000 houses. I don't oh know the God. exact name, number, but we've worked hard for a long time. Yeah. What do you like about Realty? Number one, probably the, the relationships, friends, clients, all the above I've made over the, the last 27 years. It's, um, it's a little overwhelming to think about all the people we've met and that are just, you know, fantastic human beings and people. And some of them we sold $80,000 houses for and others were 900000 But you people are people. And it's been it's it's been a lot of fun just all the different people we've met. It's fun to get to a closing table and see people ecstatic and or sometimes crying because they're moving on to a new chapter in their life. Right. But they're moving on for advantageous reasons. And at the end of the day, you call them two weeks after they move into their dream house and they they love it and they forget about their house they were in for 20 years. So. Yeah. So you've got a team also for your realty business. How big is your team? My team right now is seven, seven, eight people. My brother Mike started with me 26 years ago. Him, him and I work with 95% of all our buyers and sellers together. We don't let people bounce around. We, we stay engaged with our clients. That's good. Lots and lots of communication on a daily basis. Allison started with us. She just had her 20 year anniversary. She takes care of all the behind the scenes, appraisals, inspections, all the I's are dotted, T's are crossed. Most of the time there's two agents in a transaction. Allison basically does both jobs. It's advantageous for everybody, right? Yeah. So she gets there at seven in the morning. She works till five. She calls banks, title companies, lenders, appraisers, termite people. And then Robin, my niece, started with me 17 years ago she was a junior in high school answered the phones you know back then you had to answer the phone every Saturday and Sunday to yeah. help people get in and out of houses yeah. and and now she basically runs the entire office the wow. back end all the administrative all the marketing and everything Amy has been with us I think she just hit 10 years and she does all the websites, photography, measuring houses, taking pictures. Every day we're, we're tweaking all of our listings to help increase our hits online. Yeah. To stay at the top of the pages on all the major search engines and other realtor sites. And then um, Jenna started this year. She's the young, sharp, energetic, um, social media, marketing, trying to teach an old dog new tricks, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. And, and learn what's going on in Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff that 50 somethings are kind of on the fence on. And, and she, to me, some of that stuff is like Chinese and to her, it's just basic English. We, we made a big switch in January of this year after 26 years with our, our last broker, we switched to eXp Realty and it's cutting edge technology, uh, marketing, a lot of behind the scenes thing. If you look at a mountain, you sometimes you only see the top, but down at the bottom is where everything happens under kind of behind the scenes. And, and eXp just brought us to the forefront of what's going on in the world. Good analogy would be like, we went to work at Netflix and left Blockbuster Video. Okay. And we all know where Blockbuster Video is now. So yeah. trying to be on the 
cutting edge of where the future of our industry is going and and as you know with all these other companies entering the real estate industry and just buying houses and a lot of a lot of demand for top people in our industry to help people through the process and, and, and maximize their investment with the fewest amount of hassles all right guys kevin just started his youtube channel for his realty business so show him some love go subscribe i'm going to put a link down below in the description Good morning. Good Did you never use your fryer? I think that's Kimberly, and no, yeah. she had not. Okay. We'll just hold this here for you. Thank you so much. Keep looking. Oh um, the gosh, hanger is Kimberly's, though. Yeah, I think it's brand new. <laughs> She's, I was like, I have a fryer at my house. Are you asking five for the box? Uh, I think it's inside. Kimberly, yeah. is it five for the box? No, five for each of the items in there. Okay. The cameras, my husband, the actual cameras themselves, my husband could not make work. Really? So it would be for parts or if you can figure out how to make them work, the lenses are all fine. Okay. What would you want if I bought the whole box? Um, I don't have anything there, but let me see if I can make you a deal. Sorry. There. Hey. Uh, well, sorry. Um, so, I could do 50 bucks. Would you do 40? How about 45? That's a deal. All right. Yes. I've already got a stack of stuff up here, so yeah, I'll just yeah. add to it. I'm trying to decide if I want to let him be out here, but I don't want him barking at people and trying to get up on people. So oh, you're maybe. not going to bark at anybody, are you? Well, no, you'll stay quiet. He's a, he loves people. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Leo. Leo. Hi, Leo. He's a good buddy, aren't you? Yes. Where should I put you yeah. at? She just take her bike, Steph. Uh-huh. Did she pay you for your bike? So, how about uh, an old rusty tools that's never been chrome plated? Uh, this stuff here, which are... Like yeah. sockets and stuff. That you, stuff know, you know how kids the kids cannot play with anything except something's got a battery in it? Yes. I'm the kind of guy, I can't play with, I can't play with anything <laughs> that's got an bad. electrical cord to it. I cannot figure it out. You want the original. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, I think that's about it. So you can be out here, Leo, but I don't really know if it's going to be fun for you. Just... All right, I think I'm ready to settle up with you. Okay. I've got 45. These two were separate. It's only a dollar each for those. That's 47. Uh, the jacket was two. That's 49. And this was eight. So that should be 57. 57. There you what, go, ma'am. What am I looking for? Thank that you so much. Cash. Oh, he gave us the right change. Oh, okay. Morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Doing good. How are you? Okay. I've got eight records. There you go, sir. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very much. Have a much. good day. You want a bag to put those in? No, that's all right. How much are your patches? Quarter piece, whatever you want. Quarter for a bag? Or if that's your team, you can have it for a quarter of a bag. What about if I buy all of them? Alright, what are you gonna offer me? Let's see, you got one, two, three, four. Looks like there's maybe 20 bags. How about 20 bucks for all of them? Would you do that? 
Sure do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> have you? <laughs> do you have any more old like baseball stuff like that? Uh, I have a Cal Ripken Coke bottle. Okay. In a container. Okay. We used to live in Baltimore. Oh, did you? Yes. He was a great player. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Good. I'll keep looking around and see what else I can find. Morning. Good morning. All right, I'm going to start a little pile up here. I'm going to get these candles. A little box here we can use. Perfect. Thank you. Those are the small ones, and okay. over on the other side are large ones, and I have a boatload of those, as you Alrighty. can see. Alrighty. Okay, I think I'm finally ready to settle up with you here. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, 30, 50, 33, 50. Alright. Got everything here, right? I think so, yep. Okay. Charlie, are there any more bags There's over there? There's 34. I'm not worried about the 50 cents. Well, thank you. Thank so you very, very much. much. Good luck thank with the you. sale and happy Halloween. Uh, Early Halloween. Help out with these? That'd be great, yeah. Charlie, could you help this gentleman with these? All right, guys, I'm back at the shop. I went to a handful of sales today and found some really good stuff. I got this keyboard at the last sale of the day for three bucks. It is the Microsoft Comfort Curve 2000. Uh, these ergonomic style keyboards have a little bit of value. This one is selling for around $25 plus shipping, but there's some that sell for a lot more, so keep an eye out for those. I got this whole box of cameras and lenses for 45 bucks. Actually, these two little handheld ones were a dollar each. A little Vivitar Champion 2 and a Pentax. These little film cameras are coming back, so if you see these and they're cheap, pick them up. Uh, as far as these go, these two are the Fujifilm Fine Pix S9100. She said they didn't work. I saw a sold comp for one that sold for parts for $37 plus shipping. Um, so I think I'll make a little bit of profit just by selling those two for parts. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight lenses in here. I would guess at least a couple of these should be $20 or more. This is a Nikon lens. Not sure what this is. There's another Nikon lens. I've done really well selling lenses, you know, anywhere from like 20 bucks to 100 bucks. If you can get lenses cheap, definitely grab them. Also at that sale, I got this dual zone deep fryer. New in the box, has all the original packaging and everything. Paid $8 for that. I saw one uh, sell for like $75 free shipping. So realistically, I think I can get 40, 50 bucks for it. These are a couple of baskets, new with the tags that I got at a sale. I was sending pictures to my wife because there was all kinds of stuff I thought she would want. So she had me get these and maybe one other thing. I'm not sure, but there was a ton of Halloween stuff there. And my sister-in-law loves Halloween stuff. So I sent her a bunch of pictures and ended up spending like $35 on Halloween stuff just for her. So Jessica, hope you like that stuff. Got this Ohio State vintage jacket. It is by Logo 7, extra large, kind of like a big puffy winter jacket. Jacket season is definitely upon us. It's got, you know, some staining around the neck, which is unfortunate, but it was $2. Really hard to pass up. It's got the big Ohio State logo on the back. I'm thinking that'll bring 30, 40 bucks. Got these pumpkin patch leaf bags. Um, I just thought these looked cool. They're vintage. I've been doing a lot of vintage Halloween sales lately. These are from 92. 50 cents. Couldn't pass those up. I got a stack of records for a dollar each. Here's Chuck Berry. Had a lot of water damage, unfortunately, but I think the vinyl is okay. Yeah, the vinyl itself was in excellent condition, so I might just keep that for my collection. And then a bunch of Beach Boys. We got Beach Boys Songbook, Super Hits, MIU album. I don't know what that is. California Girls, Greatest Hits, Best of the Beach Boys Volume 2, and 15 big ones. This one also has a lot of water damage to the uh, cover itself. I got some hand soap at that sale that had all the Halloween stuff. Um, new in the box for $3, just gonna take that home. Same with these, a couple of water bottles for $1.50. Those might be a gift for somebody. 
I thought this was really cool. It was only a buck. It's this vintage bronze or brass like note holder. It's got a little hand. I looked on the bottom and couldn't really see much as far as like when it was made or where it was made. There's a couple stamps here. Pretty sure that says Japan. But either way, for a dollar, I thought that was cool. Also got this Reptar decoration for a dollar. I watched Rugrats as a kid, so I thought that'd be cool to put in one of the kids' rooms. This right here is probably my best find of the day. I got 20-some bags of MLB patches. Each bag has about seven or eight patches from an MLB team, and these are from the 70s, I think. I've actually found these exact same ones before at various sales. I paid 20 bucks for all of them, and I think what I want to do with these is... I'll make group lots, so I'll take one of each team and make a big lot of like 25 vintage MLB patches and, you know, try to sell it for 20, 30 bucks, something like that. It'll probably take a long time to sell, but they're really cool. I, I did, couldn't just leave them there. She was only wanting like a quarter. <laughs> like I asked her her prices and she's like 25 cents. And I was like, is it 25 cents for a bag? And then she was like, just make me an offer. So I was more than happy to get them all for 20 bucks. And it seemed like she was happy to get rid of them too. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.